hello guys five days back with another tutorial so you guys obviously you all have seen this video of open pose estimation this is the reason so in this tutorial i am showing you how you can implement this thing in your windows system uh, in a uh, you can do this uh, processing with your CPU. You don't need to have a GPU for this. So guys, let's start the tutorial. So for this task, guys, you have to follow some uh, some kind of steps. So guys, I uh, uh, I given a blog uh, blog link in description. So go to that blog and uh, read all the description. I have mentioned all the description in my blog. I have started new blog. So visit that blog for all the description and. Uh, step so now first step is that download the zip guys this is the official uh, tf pose estimation zip uh, repository so you have to download this uh, repository so just click on a clone or download uh, you can use a git clone or you can download the zip so guys i downloaded the zip and i extracted it now go to the second step now we have to download the swig tool which is a which will be useful for our open pose estimation so we have to download this swig tool just click on a download button here i will give this link in my blog so click on python and click on the os so i have windows so i will click on windows click the submit now go to the download area and download swig win so it will redirect you to download but i already have downloaded so you i don't need to download once again so after downloading you will get this kind of zip so extract this zip now we have to extra uh, paste this folder in our working directory so now what is our working directory so this is our working directory tf post estimation master so now we have to paste this swig folder in our working directory now copy the path of the swigwin folder now open the environment variable we have to select the path of the swig in our environment variable so click on environment variable click on the path uh, click on the add new path click on ok once again <laughs> click on ok so our three step is completed now it's time for the installation so we need, uh, we need a required some library <coughs> so first of all we need to install this uh, one library first so open your command prompt cmd and just paste here so this will install a pycoco tools so guys there is an issue with pycoco tools library uh, it will not install if you write pip, uh, pip install pycoco tools you have to write like this so it will install a pycoco tools library but i already have you can see requirement already satisfied so i already have this so now it's time to the uh, installation of another libraries so go to the uh, main zip of uh, in our working directory in our main working directory you will find a requirement doc txt so now we already have installed PyCoco tool so remove from this uh, and save now open CMD here now we have to write pip install dash r requirements dot txt So it, it takes uh, some time to do this task. I think guys already have it. I have installed this all the things in uh, my Python. So it takes not too much time, but in your condition, it takes time. So guys be patient. So now go to the official repository. Now we have to build some swig tools uh, with the help. Uh, with, uh, we have to build some code with the help of uh, swig tools. So now click uh, copy this command. It will change directory to the tf post path process. Now we have to build a 
with python uh, just copy this command if you did not get understand then copy this command here and click so it will build some tool for our pose estimation so guys uh, i uh, i have one message my generating code is finished now we have to do some another thing so almost our task is uh, five step is completed now we need to download the model so just go to this link uh, just go to this media file link and we have to download the model so after downloading model now go to the models folder go to the graph go to the cmu and paste our model here so guys this model uh, is a uh, you will not get this model in the repository you have to download from additionally and put this model here so guys if you don't know how open pose work uh, then open pose is a train on cmu panoptic data set so guys you can also train the model in your with your system bus but guys it will require too much time and too much computational power so instead of a training we are using this transfer learning model if obviously you will know uh, what is transfer learning so just we are using this model which is already trained so now it's time to the change in this our code so now we need to do some changes in code not a uh, bigger changes just it's a small changes so now find run underscore webcam dot pi uh, open with any id so just i am opening with it at idle so in around uh, i think so it's a 26 or 27 line you will find this camera so in this type uh, actually uh, it's written here in teaser but we have to written here str means string so just give it a string and save it so our code changing is done now we need to do another changes now go to the tf pose uh, go to the estimator.py file or open it with uh, any id so just i am opening with uh, idle so now you will find import tensor flow uh, country dot tensor root strt so guys you don't need to do anything just comment out this part and save save it okay so after saving just close this window now get back to the our working directory now it's time for the code running it's most excited part so open cmd so first let me check i have uh, some video or not so i have already one video for testing so just copy this code python3 run webcam.ui camera video 1.mp4 so let's see it's working or not so guys it's required time for a running so just guys i'm pushing the video when it will start i will start once again guys now you can see video is started but uh, actually it's uh, lagging my pc because my screen recording is already doing this procedure so guys uh, this video is also in a hd format that's why it's lagging so you need to have a faster cpu or you can do this procedure with your gpu so guys you can see it takes around one frame per a second not a second it's a more than a second so guys uh, this task is uh, like uh, very big for uh, our computers and uh, if you have a gaming laptop then you can do this task in your system or you can do it on a cloud or a google collab or on kegel even you can also use a gpu so i already have nvidia 2gb gpu but i am not just i am for i am just uh, showing you to how you can do this perform this task in a cpu so for gpu guys you don't need to change anything just follow the same step but 
instead of a tensor flow you should have a tensor flow gpu installed with a cuda link so guys i hope uh, you all get the video and uh, all the things if you did not understand anything then just uh, comment down below i will reply to all the comments and guys sorry for delaying now uh, i will not making a uh, videos daily because of i i, I already have a, my exam university exam and a uh, viva also so that's why i am not getting the time for a video making but guys i will make uh, more video as soon as possible i will make the projects and i explain all the projects of which i did in deep learning open cv computer vision machine learning when python so guys until that just like this video share with your friend and just subscribe this our channel machine learning hub and follow our blog and follow us on instagram also so guys thanks for the listening me so see you in the next one until that keep coding stay safe at home